Hi guys and welcome back to Mummy Cook's Homemade and this is what we eat in a week. Oh, I made some skewers. These were nice. Made a nice change. Some skewers and rice. Don't ask me what flavour I put on, I can't remember. Oh, can I? <laughs> we had a takeaway this night because the girls were at Young Voices until with school until 11.30pm. So while the kids were away, we had a Chinese. <laughs> This is the taco stuffed shells. That was lovely. Definitely one we'll be having again. These were pork steaks. The everything was cooked in the multi cooker in on the rice set and it was so nice. Beef casserole, this is already on the channel. Vegetables, obviously you need some crusty bread for the gravy. But yeah, this is already on the channel. What's easier than chips? I didn't even make the chips. It was just opened a bag of frozen and off I went. These are the little Kievs. They're not too bad at all then. So I'm just making my stuff in. So two packs went in there. And I'm just mixing in some hot water. And I'll mix in what I think is enough. And then I'll let it cool down before I add the sausage meat in. And it's pork and apple sausage meat. And the joint of pork that I bought in my Christmas meat haul that's what we had for dinner yesterday and it was so tender it was lovely so I'm just moving it out to the sides just so it cools down quicker and I'll let that cool down Yorkshire puddings hundred and sixty eight usually I've gone one gram over 168 grams of plain flour, three eggs, and 280 mils of milk. And some mixed herbs. I don't mess about with my Yorkshire's. I mix it until it's just mixed and then I leave it alone allow it to come to room temperature because I've used milk straight from the fridge just making sure I'm getting all them there ain't no corners but edges you know what I mean and then leave it be so Steve got some organic carrots from the market I do go back and take the tops off these As you can see, <laughs> we have some tender stem. All our odds and ends go into the composter. You shouldn't chuck them in your regular waste. Compost them ready for the summer or spring whenever you're planting up your garden. Welcome to rabbits or chickens if you've got any. A bit of white cabbage. I use the steam function on this multi cooker and I set it for 19 minutes. That's for everything that's in there and everything cooks to perfection every time. I don't have to do anything with the veg. I just turn it onto the steam function. I know a lot of you have already bought this multi cooker and that you enjoy using it. 
that's what I use for all the veg. I put all my veg that I'm having for my Sunday dinner, except for the ones I'm roasting. I pop it in there, set it for 19 minutes and leave it to it. Look at me using a great uh, peeler look. That's an OXO one. It's really, really good. That'll be roast parsnips for Steve and the mother-in-law. So I'm using red for the roast potatoes and I'll use the Maris Pipers for the mashed potatoes. Long flat edge, get a big crisp area. So normally I would use Maris Pipers for anything like chips and roasters but they're just not as good at the minute. The reds seem to do the job, the job better so that's what I'm using. You can see at the back there the strudel Apple and raisin. That's the one I made in my Christmas prep. So I pulled that out because it didn't get eaten over Christmas out the freezer. And that was used up. Also some chocolate brownies, which I made the day before. And lemon brownie, which I make on this video. So I'll put the recipe down below. That's the mashed potatoes I'm doing now. Considering when there's six of us, I don't do a lot of mashed potatoes at, at all. So now I'm just prepping my muffin pan. I always use a muffin pan. For my Yorkshires. goes 15 minutes in the oven to make sure it's red hot. I will set the timer. As soon as it comes out, get the, the batter in as quick as possible. Just be careful. And then as soon as you've got the batter in the pan, carefully over to the oven. Gas mark six for 25 minutes now we're on to picking out the parsnips that's what i'm doing there just taking them out before i do the roast potatoes so now i'm just going to coat them um, with my seasoning from the roast potatoes pop them onto the baking tray. We all love roast potatoes in this house. So these are the new Scoville pans and I only needed to use one, one pan for all these because they're bigger than the ones I used to use and no baking paper either. I still do use baking paper but uh, not as much which is a good thing. So that's the roast done, waiting to go into the oven now, give them a spray of oil and they're done. Yorkshire's are out. Happy days. They never, ever fail. But never take them out if the sides of them are pale because they'll just drop. So even if you have to leave them in a couple of minutes more. So I'm just going to spray these. And stick the stuffy mix in. 
all delicate like. <laughs> That's prepping with grace. That's what that's called. So just cover them up until I want them. So this is the lemon brownies. These turned out really, really well. Tangy. So if you like that lemon slice bar that I did, um, the chances are you're going to like this. The full recipe will be down below, so don't worry too much. You will need some lemon extract and some vanilla plus actual lemon as well. You have to wait for the butter to cool down because you don't want it to dissolve the sugar. I would do your butter first and then leave it to stand for 10 minutes. But you don't want it to dissolve the sugar. One egg, one egg yolk. I'm still waiting for a bit of room in my freezer so that I can do more freezer prep. The kids have been asking again for breakfast burritos. Um, I want to do some more spring rolls, some duck ones, I've got a duck. Um, also some Chinese dumplings. I'd like some of them in the freezer because we do eat um, Chinese rice and such quite a lot. So it'd be nice to have them in the freezer ready to go. But the kids are absolutely obsessed with those um, breakfast burritos I buy in the extra large ones on purpose for those because I find that the regular ones that you get from the supermarket the mission ones the, well in the UK anyway they're nowhere near big enough I don't know if you can get um, the extra large ones in supermarkets in the US But I need a little bit of room in the freezer first. I've also got a series two for all those that have been with me a while of the, what was it called? The nostalgia Christmas dinner, <laughs> not Christmas dinner, school dinners. It did the uh, school puddings from 80s and 90s last time. I think I'm going to go further back this time and do the 60s and the 70s of UK British um, British um, school puddings. So that'll be quite interesting. So that'll be another series coming up shortly.
So these brownies here, these lemon brownies, took about 10 minutes all together to put together once the butter had cooled down. So they didn't take long at all. good mix make sure you prepare your tin if you've got no parchment paper then just brush it with some oil and a bit of put a bit of flour around it or like i've done here use parchment paper if you're interested in making it the size of pan you need and everything and the oven temperatures weights will all be down below sometime today <laughs> I'll get to it sometime today. Still has the same texture as the chocolate brownie, but it's just lemony. It's um, not something I tried before, but it was nice. So this is a 1.8 kilo rind on loin of pork. It was already scored across the rind, which was good. Now, if you want really good crackling, you've got to use a clean paper towels because I think the paper towels in the US you know are a lot thicker than what we've got over here you stuck a paper towel on the one of our paper towels on a piece of meat over here it gets stuck to it and soak into it anyway I just use a clean towel tea towel sprinkled on some mixed herbs some flaked sea salt and just rub that into the scores on the on the rind the key is just to make sure it's dry. And I'm just going to set it on an onion. That onion flavour will go into the juices and into the meat. This was a very tender piece of meat. So this brownie, once it's cooked and cooled, has an icing, a real simple icing that goes on top. I store my ice and sugar in an airtight container, but it still has lumps. Always make sure, if you can, that you sieve it. I'm just going to add some of the squeezed lemon juice into this. Obviously, that wasn't enough. I did literally dribbles of water into this because it doesn't take a lot. Once you add too much, that's it. You've got to add tons of icing sugar in there to get it back then. So just be very careful how much you put in. You want it kind of thick like that. That piece of paper at the edge there was driving me batty.
I do spread this out, so I don't know why I'm doing that, to be perfectly honest. And this sets up really well and dries. And that's the strudel that I made before Christmas. I did pre-cook it. So all I'm doing is putting it in the air fryer on a keep warm function. And it uh, did exactly that. It heated it. There was the pork. I do check pieces of meat to make sure that the target is 63. It stayed there for a few seconds and I thought, ah. Oh. There we are. Alarm's gone off. Right temperature. So I'll leave it out. Just drain off any juices. There weren't loads of juices, actually. I expected a lot more than that. As it rested, it let out a bit, but not a lot. That's really crispy on top. Steve and his dad at the crackling. Okay, that's all set now on top. That's there ready to go so I don't forget. All the veggies are in the multi-cooker ready to go. Stuffing's ready to go in the oven. Yorkshire's are made. They'll just go on reheat as well in the other air fryer. Mashed potatoes, roast parsnips, roast potatoes ready to go in the oven. Happy days. And that was dinner yesterday. Absolutely yummy. Steve is finally making his um, deep pan pizza today. His one pan deep pan. And he is said he's going to record it so you'll get that video sometime this week i would think it actually turns out really well thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like comment subscribe if you're not subscribed already and you keep coming back to watch it really helps out and i'll speak to you in the comments bye